Right guys, let's look at question number two. We are given a table of boiling point for ethane and also some chlorine containing organic compounds. Okay, so table here 2.1, you're given all the formulas okay, and then you are also given the boiling point. Okay, so as you go up, not up, you go to the right, right? You basically see that there is plus one chlorine atom. And then the, the hydrogen, you decrease by one hydrogen. Okay, so it's the same here, here, and also here. Okay, then what happens to the boiling point? Uh? If you can check the boiling point, right, it's actually increasing, 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 and increasing. So first question wants you to describe the general trend as the number of chlorine atoms increases. The boiling point increases as well. Okay, so this is a general trend. Okay, use the formula of the compounds to answer the following question. Each formula may be used once more than once or not. Or which compound is a hydrocarbon? Hydrocarbon means that you basically just have carbon and hydrogen. I think the only one is uh, C2H6. Which compounds belongs to the same homologous series as C4? H8Cl2. Okay, homologous series meaning the same functional group having two chlorine. So it will be C2H4Cl2. Okay, same homologous series. Okay, what is the total number of compound in table 2.1 which are soluble in organic solvent? So all of them are soluble in organic solvent. So the answer is five. Draw the displayed formula. Displayed formula means that you need to show every single bond, uh, two isomers of C2H4Cl2. Okay, so the first one, we'll just do it on two different uh, carbon atoms. The second isomer, we'll just put it on the same carbon atom.